A few weeks ago, I posted a tutorial for making your own custom logo stinger transition, that's a mouthful, in Blender 2.8. However, Blender admittedly has a pretty steep learning curve, and I understand that a lot of you probably just want to hit the ground running with some cool free transitions. So this week, I decided to give you all a few more stingers to use on your streams, five, including the one from the tutorial, and make it as easy as possible to customize them with your logos. This is what they look like, and to customize them is literally only five easy steps. Change the logo, choose your colors, select your stinger, set the frame range, export your file. And to follow along, just download the file from our community Discord, link in the description. That being said, let's get started. My name is Chris Folia, I'll be your stream professor. Welcome to Stream School. Okay, when you first open the file in Blender, it should look very similar to this. And then the absolute very first thing you want to do is go to the upper left here and click on the shiny circle button. That will give you a full color rendered preview so you can see what the stingers look like as you're working on them. Then step one is to replace your logo here with your logo. So you can click that, go all the way to the right to the materials panel right here, and then you want to find this X button and click it. Then click the open button that replaces it and find your logo. In my case, I'm going to use the fish logo. However, a quick side note here, you need to make sure that your logo image file is a square aspect ratio. Your logo does not have to be a square aspect ratio. For example, the weirdly shaped stream school logo, but the actual file needs to be a square. If it's a weird rectangle shape, it's going to come into Blender stretched for our purposes. So anyway, for our first example, I'm going to double click my fish logo to bring that in. Then step two is to choose your colors. So for that, you'll notice we have background, color one, color two, and color three. You can select each of these individually. I'm happy with the background being white, but you can change that. Then for color one, two, and three, I want to match my logo or match my aesthetic. So an easy way to do that is to click the color box here, and then you can change this to whatever color you want. You notice updating in real time there. But an easier way is to click it and click the eyedropper and select from your logo. Then I'm gonna do the exact same thing for color two, but select maybe a different blue. Then color three, select maybe even a different blue. Then step three is to choose the stinger you want. So you notice up here in the upper right, we have set logo and colors, which is currently checked. And then we have stinger one, two, three, four, and five. So if we uncheck set logo and colors, that will hide that, but then we can check through each of the individual stingers. And if you wanna watch them play, you can just select one of them and hit space on the keyboard and it'll start playing through and looping. And you'll notice that each of these stingers is using our logo and our colors that we chose rather than the boring your logo here and the black and white colors that were chosen previously. So go through them, find a stinger that you like. I'm personally going to stick with four, but I figured I'd show you all the different options here. This one's from the tutorial a few weeks ago, but I'm going to stick with stinger four. So then step five is to set, or step four is to set the frame range. So for stinger four, you'll notice that it plays through, but then there's this large blank area at the end where it just is fully transparent. And we don't want that. We want it to start transparent and end transparent, but we don't want it to linger like this. So you'll notice by each stinger, I gave you what the frame range should be, and you need to manually set that. So for Stinger 4, it says F1 through 100. That's frame one through 100. And we can set that down here on the timeline. Start one, end 100 by clicking and then typing 100. So now you notice it loops through much faster and only plays what it needs to play, which is also what it will export. Then step five, the last step, is to export our file or our Stinger into a WebM file. And for that, you can click the little printer button right here, go down to output and click the folder and find wherever you want to store this. I'm gonna put this under this project folder, call it stinger4 underscore woo. <laughs> then I'm gonna hit enter and then enter again or 
press the accept button. Then to actually render this out, you go to render and render animation. And you'll notice it'll bring up this window and it'll start rendering it out. Beautiful. And if that's as far as you wanna go, you wanna replace the logo and replace the colors, that is perfectly fine, that's awesome. You'll get a cool stinger out of it. But let's say you wanna be an overachiever and you wanna add some motion blur to this. That's pretty easy to do. So we can, I'm gonna hit escape to cancel out of this. It'll cancel out of it whenever it's ready. Just sitting here waiting. Then I'm gonna come to the camera button right here and where it says render engine Eevee, I'm gonna change that to cycles. Now there are a whole bunch of differences between these two rendering engines, but I don't need to get into that right now. All you need to know for the purpose of this tutorial or walkthrough is that cycles will allow you to use motion blur and actually work and it will take a little bit longer to render. But now if I render out an individual frame, Oh, that's a bad frame. <laughs> it's not moving very quickly. Let's say one of these frames. You'll notice that this is now blurred with the motion, which is exactly what we want. So you can do the exact same thing with render, render animation to get the motion blur. And you can call it quits right there if you're done. But let's say you want to adjust the size or the position of your logo, or maybe you have an oddly shaped logo that doesn't quite match up with the stingers and you want to adjust those. Now I'm gonna show you what to do in those cases. So I'm gonna switch back to Eevee for speed's sake. I'm gonna uncheck Stinger 4, go to set logo and colors, and I'm gonna use an oddly shaped logo now. So I'm gonna go to the materials panel after selecting a logo, hit the X, hit open, uh, find my stream school logo and bring that in. Then for background, I'm fine with that still being white. Color one, I'm gonna change that to sort of like a light purple. Something like that should be pretty good. Then color two, I'm gonna change that to a little bit of a darker purple. And then color three, I'm gonna make an even darker purple, like so. Maybe make color two even a little bit darker. Now, if we want to adjust the position of the logo on each of these stingers, I've tried to make that as easy as possible. So there's no animation actually applied to the logo. The animation is applied to the parent of the logo. So if we just select the logo and then grab our movement widget, we can now move this around and adjust it. And same for scale or rotation. So I'm gonna scale this guy up and then I'm just gonna move them around. If you know the blender hotkeys of S and G, you can do this a lot faster. But once we've moved that and adjusted it for Stinger 1, you'll notice that it still animates properly. If I wanna hit S to scale it back down, maybe move it over here by pressing G, that all still animates properly and it's pretty easy to adjust. Then let's say we wanna move on to Stinger 2 and adjust that. This has to be the most difficult one, but it's still not that bad. If we want to adjust this one to maybe have the logo overlapping the white, we can just select this massive grid of squares here, hit tab to go into edit mode, hit S to scale, and scale it right on up. You'll notice that the logos are overlapping now, which is not quite what we want, but uh, we can fix that pretty easily. I added this circle widget right here you can click. It's like a half circle as we see it. And we can just drag this over to adjust the spacing. So now this looks much better if we play it. And then one more thing we want to adjust is, well, two more things actually. First, the frame range to 140. I'm gonna set it to 160 since that's the longest possible one, just so we can see the full thing play. But now we want to adjust the size of these logos right here. So I'm gonna hit S to scale it right on up, scale it bigger than the frame's height, move to the end here, and then scale this one up as well using the S key. So now if we play this, Uh, that might be a little bit big because you'll notice that it's visible on the frame there. I'm just going to select both of these and scale them down a little bit. But now it matches this logo shape much better and it wasn't that difficult to adjust. So then for Stinger 3, it's exactly the same as Stinger 1. You can just select the logo. You can move this around all you want. Let's find a better area. Let's say we want this to be up over here and bigger. We can just move it around however we want. And if we play back the animation, it all still works perfectly fine. 
and Stinger 4 is exactly the same way. You can just select the logo, and let's say we want this one to be bigger. So I can hit S to scale it, click to apply, then let's say we want this to be in the corner down here. That's a pretty easy adjustment to make as well. Just hit G to move it, click to apply, and now it's all adjusted for this specific logo shape. Then Stinger 5, there's not a whole lot of changes we can make here because of the way it's set up, but it should generally work pretty well as is since it's a centered design. So two paths you can take here. You can either just slap your logo in and change the colors, or if you really wanna overachieve, you can adjust the individual position and scale of the logo for your specific stinger. But overall, that's it. I made it pretty much as easy as I possibly could, um, but that's it. That's, that's, uh, that's five free stingers that you can easily customize yourself. And that's all there is to it. To download the template, make sure you hop into our community Discord, link in the description. And if you found this helpful, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below the video for new content every single week. Also, if you have any questions or just wanna come hang out, I'm live every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday at twitch.tv slash oraclefishlive. As always, if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos or projects, let me know those in the comments down below. Until next time, my name is Chris Folia, I'm your stream professor, and class is out. Oh,